on a pretty wet and heavy field, which won't really suit the type of rugby that they play. Also, four yellow cards that they had in the tournament, the Fijians, also hasn't helped their cause. In fact, generally speaking, for all teams, pretty much that's been the situation. And as we await the teams uh, just about getting ready to come on, uh, former Springbok uh, front row Rob Kempson played, I think it was 40 tests, was it, Rob, that you played for South Africa? Oh, I'll claim the extra three, no problem. Yeah, 37 plus three, nothing wrong with that. The last three meetings of these teams, you can see going back to 2009, and the Fijians have won two of them. But this Italian side is a very good side that did very well in the Six Nations under 20 tournament, finishing in a third position. So they'll be fancying their chances today. So Rob, just having a, an overall look at uh, the tournament and as things have gone, Italy in their first game against Argentina, unfortunately got a red card after 12 minutes, which really pushed them back in a game that they perhaps were hoping to win. So they have had an up and down tournament, but so have the Fijians, unfortunately. Yes, so they have. So I think consistency of the performance is very important for both these teams. Of course, there was a win over against South Africa. Very all important one, which probably was their biggest game of this uh, competition, which brings them here. Unfortunately, they were in a tough group, but have an opportunity to make amends in speech. They come into this tournament, so the Italians seeded ninth and uh, the Fijians seeded 11th. That's out of 12, of course. They've got everything to play for those men in picture there right now because what happens is there's a relegation factor where the team that finishes last goes down to the next tournament which is called the trophy which will be in kenya uh, and starting pretty soon too so they'll be fighting for their lives uh, the fijians to stay in uh, the championship as it's called the main tournament but so the italians gonna have to do the same thing so as usual the teams will line up for their national anthems and then that will be followed but what is commonly called the cultural challenge from Fiji, which is similar to the haka that we are so familiar with from New Zealand. That's ultimately the challenge to the opposition. So lined up they are, the Italians and uh, the Fijians ready for their national anthem.
always interesting to see those that are singing with passion and some are not singing at all they're zoning themselves they have their own way of preparing and i'll switch around now and we await the cultural challenge from the fijians Italians who formed a semicircle in uh, response to the Fijians and uh, the Fijians as usual will go to the middle of the field there they are the ball up in the air everyone's hands on it and, uh, we know them as a very strong religious group too and uh, they have strong spiritual beliefs but they've got plenty of rugby to play rob and one of the difficulties i think that they've had in this tournament is that they've had less than 50 percent of possession and territory in every game that they've played which doesn't help the scoreboard does it um, but they have been good the last game that we did give yeah, the, the counter-attacking ability from anywhere on the park is very dangerous it's just a matter of how this field holds up and how they can adapt to the conditions or what the field might be giving them today well, one thing that'll interest you too is the fact that their their set piece has not been great either. Their lineouts and their scrums have have not been ideal. And those two elements that we spoke of now, possession territory and the set pieces, the scrums and the lineouts, have not uh, functioned the way they should. So they've got a lot to play for on a very very wet and heavy field. One feels too, which will make things difficult for them. Ravula then with a kickoff, fielded by scrum off. Uh, Sebastiano Vatara, he's not kicked it out, so taken in there by Basiolo, the fullback. I think this will be a very physical encounter in many ways. The Italians have got a very good line out, and they've also really stand up with the needs to be counted. Ravura. It out there to Malaga, uh, to uh, Final rather, at inside centre. A lot of very tall men in the Fijian side, so we're going to come back here for a penalty. Two blue. Penalty Offside. against uh, Tagavital. Uh, rather against Quattrini, the the captain Offside. of Italy, Offside. and they've decided to kick a goal. And again, when they've got a very reliable kicker in Ravula at fly half, the nephew of Richie Moanga, the all black fly half. Although he didn't. Uh... The good thing about today as well is that there's not much wind to speak of here, just a, a very light breeze which this young man will want to judge of the first kick of the match. Shouldn't have a problem with the distance. Fifteen. Oh, is that going to hold its line? Now it's off the right hand upright. As, uh, he looked at it there. Now the Italians with the ball behind the and close to their try line, and uh, that's going to be a, a penalty to Italy. Late shot. Now late tackle. A, a number of those in the, in the game. That's element of late tackles and tackles off the ball. Just try to get a little bit of an edge on the opposition. Six, please. Uh, kick. Please, six. Not the best. No hey, control arms in that whatsoever. Lima, Lima. A little bit of a warning should have come in. 
Another interesting little grab there, too, with a no arms tackle. But, uh, the less we see of <laughs> yellow and red cards in a rugby match, the better. <laughs> Absolutely. Bathini, then, the captain with a throw in. He's got Alex Matoli, who's jumping at five today. He was number four in the five last game. Well, they want to show their dominance up front, I'm pretty sure. The Italian Matata waits for it. Well, they really are in motion. Yeah, Pisigala at fly half waiting. It's a penalty advantage at the moment. And the Fijians unable to stem yeah. the flow there initially. Oh, the, the take from Brissigala. They've got an extra man here. Yeah. They've also got the pace of the fullback. And also Elektri on the wing and flying for the line is the right winger. Been a good start this for Italy. Taken in there by Nicola Bozzo. Again, it's all about defence right now for the Fijians. David Odiasi standing off. He's up in the ball carrier too. So what do they decide? Let's take it for the big man. Head for the line. Release. Move back. Step back. Another chance. Have they managed to get over? Short. Remember? You can see the hands on the ball there. It'll be another drive. Oh, they've got the try. It's been a lot of hard work there, but uh, they've managed to pick that up. Get the, that's the 100th try of this year's championship captain. here in South Africa. Who's the captain? Ten. Captain? Marcus Seven. Gallerini has got that try. And Italy doing what they did against South Africa, and they're softening up front with a big driving mall. First action, when we are close to the line, be careful. And then the big Drop heavies the with a pick and go. Okay. And the Very line. similar, same yeah. field. Yeah. Similar two, conditions. Two, two infringement no, probably want a similar Ramos result. Idea. Be careful. Luke Ramos just having a word with uh, the captain of Fiji, Moti Mori. Good to see as well. Just uh, informing him that it's something that's that's happening out there that is not ideal. Simone Brizigala with. Uh, the extra three points, so that's a good start by the Italians. Now the big men in the trenches doing the hard yards and getting the results. Marcus Gallerini with the try for Italy. Difficulty for the Fijians in all three matches that they've played, which they've lost. Uh, they've had over 40 points scored against them. So I won't be happy about Prissy Gala with uh, the kick downfield. A bit of work here for Basivolo to do. So it's a chip and chase. It's a great kick that it's a good bounce to wet and slippery conditions didn't make it easy for the fullback. And the Italians really looking to, to compete as best as they can there. And uh, once again, the Fijians giving away a penalty. And Passarella did well to hold that up, along with Ilietri. In view of that, no, more was called. It's a lovely little chip over the top, though. That's the yellow. You see no one in behind, no one sweeping. A little chip in the regather. And beyond the fullback, and then Tess managed to clip his heels. Yeah. No, it could have been a good Mark race to the line, that one. Yeah. Stability. Outside backs holding up. Yeah. All the scrum. So Sebastiano Bataro will have the put in here. Bye. Set. Uh, not easy yes, scrumming on the in these conditions. Yes, but the Italians will be happy with that ball. Now Bizigala downfield. Oh. Ravula with a long pass. Out to Basiallo. Not enjoys running this man. Back forward. 
you'll see that they really want to they want to take the ball and run the italians forward that pass was forward there to matthias douglas he's an exciting young player that's on the right wing plays on the left wing too as he's needed I don't think it's a question about the forward pass. Long bind, please. Oh, you could have had an interesting run in there. I tell you, Matthias Douglas has got plenty of pace. Very evasive as well. Long bind on the back. Gets around. Well, their scrum hasn't been great this tournament, the Fijians. So, Basilalo with a Philip Basilalo with a put in. And they stand uh, their ground here on the difficult scrumming conditions. In and out is what they wanted. Ravula now with uh, the little dummy pass and well taken up there by Finau. Ravula, Basiola once again trying to find some space here. The Gins are great on attack, they really are, they always have been which is a, a byproduct of their grade seven skills and seven man rugby step back Basilala done well there the scrum half got through the first tackle he's so close to the line step back no hands so the Fijians now a replica of what we saw just now from the Italians close to the line can they get that ball over the line pick and drive that was just so close. Everybody wants a, a slice of the pie. Oh, they've got the try. And that will belong to Botha Botha. Osaka Botha Botha. Playing back what the Italians did to Fiji a little bit earlier. Thanks. And he's got their first try of the game. Lovely little break, though, it must be said by Basilala. Really got things on the front foot. And then the forwards got themselves involved. Votha Votha eventually getting over the whitewash. Luke Ramos in the perfect position to make the call as the referee for the match. Votha Votha, enough strength there, the big lock forward to get uh, an important score for them too. I think it'll, it'll do a lot for their confidence to the Fijians. Ali did well not to have a look at himself on the big screen there. Focus on the ball and Ravul has got the conversion. Seven points all. I'm sure he had a sneak peek before he smashed it over. Here's Botha Botha again with his try. All important for Fiji. Scores level. Now was that first match uh, that the Italians played here against Argentina in the kick off the tournament. When they lost uh, their loose head prop very early in the match and played the, the whole game with 14 men. Use it nine. Taking back. The Fijians will also want to look for discipline in their play. Quite happy to. Those little chip kicks there are, can be so useful. With the, the sometimes unusual bounce of the rugby ball. But the Italians have managed to pick that ball up. Alex Mattioli thumped into the deck. There's some good defensive work from uh, the Fijians. Now David Odiasi, the only Italian man to play all 240 minutes to date in the game. He's had a very good tournament too, one's got to say, even although his team have battled somewhat. Brzegala, Quattrini. This time, it's good competing at the breakdown point there from the Fijians. They forced the Italians to hold on to the ball, which was illegal on the ground. Captain Motsumari has got that turnover for Fiji. He's also made the most tackles for Fiji during the course of this tournament, Motsumari. Number 
good grief. Just rides the tackle, gets over it. The clean is not good enough, Wheatley. Makes my strong over the ball. And good technique as well. So give it time with the throw in. Got their line out working. But unfortunately, forced to retreat there with a sloppy play from the Fijians. Yes, it nine. Now the big men will be asked to carry it up. Try score of Wotha Wotha. Asalala. When they get a sniff of the line, the Fijians, they can be very, very ruthless, but they've given away another penalty. Polygon. White. And Luke Ramos, by the looks of things, is, is going to be pretty short when it comes to guys holding the ball on the ground. It's a, the third penalty for that reason. Yeah, it's quick on the whistle. Which actually, Seven. I prefer it's a way to get people flying into these rucks. It can cause injury on occasions. Is that ball being kept in field? That's good play from Ravula. Uh, he's got these fullback here who just loves the little chip and chase, amongst other things. Strong tackle from David Odiasi. Ravula quickly through the hands. Carry up here from Moti Murray. Well, they're getting enough possession now, are the Fijians, which they thrive on. Back Rob, off. you were talking as well about uh, their desire to run at the opposition, move the ball around the field. Not perfect weather conditions for it, but they are holding on to it at the moment. And you'll always get a very physical approach as well from the Fijians. They are a big nation, a big rugby nation, should I say, in size. Well taken in by Brizigala. Tara out onto the left wing there. And uh, it's another penalty at breakdown time. I suppose the conditions actually sometimes favour more penalties in wet conditions. Difficult at times to stay on your feet. It's easy to take the option of going for posts. You know, slipping, sliding. A number of excuses for it, but that one's flopping straight over it. Yep. Well, what will be very evident in the minds of these Fijians is the fact that the team finishing in 12th position at this year's Rugby Championship Under 20 World Cup will go down to the trophy. They'll be relegated. And at the moment, it's pretty much the two teams of Fiji and Japan that are in danger. So a victory today for Fiji certainly help their cause. Got such an educated boot, this man, Ravula. Is that going to swing in enough? Yeah, it's over. It's a very good kick that from the fly off. It <laughs> shows a measure of relief with that smile. So back into the lead go the Fijians. safely into touch there's a pretty muddy patch where this line out's going to take place Platini <laughs> Mattioli very often the target, but that's gone forward of the hands of the Italians. Just seem to be a little bit disrupted at the moment. No come in line. White scrum. A little bit out of sorts. They 
certainly have been bit, better value as a team in this competition than this playoff. Yeah. The last one is okay. sort of Thanks. has come to to win to, to beat South Africa in the manner in which they did. It's certainly a better side than where they're at this present time. Rob, I think there's Closer, no question guys. that Closer, they're actually a, a very, very good side. I mean, we've seen that in the under-20 Six Nations, where they finished third, and, and they were really played some fantastic rugby too. Bind. Sit. A bit of scrum that, but the Fijians come away with it. Narvula, those little chip kicks and those cross kicks, absolutely brilliant, taken at the back by Alessandri Gessi. Is it? Oh, big Samuel Tadia, or rather uh, Moses Magoon. Also a good carrier of the ball, Patrini. Staying on his feet. That's good play by the captain. I think they're looking for some rhythm, the Italians, and they haven't found it yet. There's Matthias Douglas. Some good strong running with it. Another great tackle there from Nalasi on this occasion. One of the Fijians. Pacific Island is now out of tackle. Rob, I'm sure you've uh, been on the receiving end of a few of those. A Samoa or Tonga or, or Fiji. It's good positional play there from Basiwala. And the fullback's done neatly. He's made sure he's come back in field, kept the ball alive. This is an area where the Fijians have really struggled this tournament, and that's with possession. They've had plenty of it in this game. Now, Gessi. Oh, dear. Connected. Big, strong tackle. That I think it's going to be a penalty. Might also be for... Maybe, oh, no, it's not. thought there was maybe a no-arms tackle I don't there think, on the fullback. Yeah, I don't think you have to think. I think it was. For, for me, it's in the good timing. Okay. Yeah, good timing, but there's no wrap. Yeah. Oh, goal for Timo. Thanks. But just when they get themselves into a decent position, they give away possession, the Italians. Yeah, I think he's fortunate. There's definitely no arms in that tackle. So Quattrini, he's got Mattioli and Potterini, the two lock forwards. To the front it goes. Five, don't challenge, don't challenge. Well, one of the important things I think is to disrupt the Fijians is to make sure you're dominating up front. They're on the back foot. The Italians also look keen to move the ball around a bit. The Zigala. Oh, brilliant offload. This is excellent play. He has a try for you, Glee. Surely, somewhere along the line. Not on. How close were they? Still held up well, just short. Not Absolutely looked like they were heading for the line. <laughs> Philippe Bazzoni really with a clean <laughs> pair of heels, but a desperate tackle there to stop him. <laughs> Yeah. It's a lovely slot of hand and the angle. Brilliant from Filippo Bazzoni. But what defense. Desperate defenses. Got Fiji out of jail there. Argus, please. Oh, desperate angle tap. We have all... the number of the player infringed close to the goal line for cynical infringement. Luke Roma's calling in Marius Jonka, our yeah, TMO for today. Yes. Yeah, yeah, could you give me just the number? Uh, look, I'm not sure what you're after. Are you... Yeah. 
at the last facet. Yeah, yeah, please. Close to the goal line. So we'll have a, another look uh, at that. Look, the yeah. ball um, and the players were in goal, so there's no infringement there. No, no, one previous. Just before the goal line, I have an advantage for not rolling away. All right, we'll have a look at that for you. And uh, I want the number of the... That is number 11 white. 11, 11 white. white, thank you. Captain and 11. Novoda, Novoda. He's going to get a yellow card. Syndical infringement, close to the goal line. You have to wall away. Well, they already had four yellow cards in this tournament, the Fijians. Now another one for Manieta Nabonavana for not rolling away. Pacini looking once again at the front from Pontarini. Now they've got a good wall going here. The Italians surely they must get over that line. They've been desperately close. That's oh, a turnover. No, it's not. It's going to be another penalty. And the Fijians have just got to be careful that they don't give away another yellow card. Stay up. No doubt, Prisigella will, yeah, he's going to make sure they've got a, another opportunity from a line out. He has the yellow card, which has led to the sequence of driving walls. They're not rolling away. Why keep your mind? Bono Bono sitting on the sideline of the yellow card. More. Again, it's a good set from the Italians. Advantage, side entry. And another More. penalty Move advantage away. for them. Surely there's got to be a try, and there it comes. Excellent play from the Italians. Their lineouts have been so good this tournament. And once again, they showed their skills with the catch and drive. Close to the goal line. Giovanni Quattrini, the captain. Okay. Be careful. In the boot of that driving mall, a strong one will yeah. set. Just okay. getting the drive forward. Okay, Mario, thank you. It's a bit slippery underfoot. Yeah. Difficult just to regain the momentum as PG's asked to get players asked to go back when coming in from the side. Numbers in front of the ball. Patrini gets that try. Amazing how often a try is scored after just after a yellow card has been given. Fijians one short. Yes, it was the left winger who's off. Bonavona and Simone Brizigella now with the conversion attempt. Not an easy one for him. Okay. He's one of the many Italians that can play in different positions. Fullback today, uh, fly off today. He's played at fullback too. <laughs> ah, he hasn't got the additional two points, but what they do have, Italy, is the lead. Fiji with that yellow card. You can see desperately trying to get hold of Quattrini on his way down. The second try for Italy. So many hookers that score tries these days from line outs. We've got to just target the hooker. So he's the man we've got to stop. Let's go. Ravulo's kick in. Fielded uh, by Pontarini. Tackler first. And the you penalties count starting to mount against Fiji, out. Rob. Now that they are. It's a sequence of penalties. And Ultimately leads to points being scored. That's an excellent kick there from Brizigella. Oh, good. Yeah, the referee has been very sharp with those penalties at the breakdown. So have a look at that Fiji, the last three penalties belonging to them in quick succession. I think the Italians have worked out that we, we can take these guys on up front. Let's keep working at it. We've got a good maul 
that seems to be a lot better organized than the defense of the Fijians. Yes, it's now. Waiting for it, Batara. I think it might have been a call of use it, but the ball was in motion. I call you twice. Use it. From white. I did tell him to use it. I'm just trying to think why. He said more was in motion. It looked like it was intact. And the Italians aren't too happy with everything. Unless there was attachment at some stage. It was very clear the use it call, but again, the... you know, while it's in motion, one would think that it, it's the, the call was unnecessary. Vasilala quickly out as well. Once again, Ravula. He's brought some relief for his team. Matthias Douglas could have thrown that in quickly because the Fijians have been very slow in following up. But maybe the, the tactics of the Italians right now, they've probably said that the guys who've got to really dominate more strongly up front to set uh, the opportunities for ourselves. Two tries to one it is at the moment. And Fiji still with a yellow card. Well, very sloppy from the Italians at line-out time on that occasion. Fiji looked very comfortable when they had possession a little bit earlier in this half. And the opportunity to run at the opposition. Hospital pass there to the Fijians, but they've managed to keep going. And really, I tell you what, Philip Basilal has been caught very nuggety at, fly, at scrum half. Not the biggest of men. He's a real tough customer. Now a chance for them down the line. Yeah, they go. We've seen the fullback. He's been involved all the way through. Gets a try there. Basivalo. Something a little bit out of nothing. It's Fiji. Get some possession, take it to the edge, and lovely backflip through the tackle, as you will see here. I think it was Massey Winnie. Just brings in the extra defender, gets it out the back of the hand, and Vasiyalo has got a clean run into the try line. Now the chase coming across field there from Matthias Douglas, who's on the right wing. The two right wings in action there. But again, one's got to say that Basiyalo at fullback for Fiji is certainly enjoying a, his day here in Paul. So the lead changing hands from time to time. The Fijians now back in the lead. And looking to spread that lead to five points. Well, I think his uncle Richie Mahonga has been helping him with his kicking because he's been very accurate today. Very accurate and very familiar style. You can see that ball out the back, really good from Masi Winnie. And Vasiyalo takes it home for Fiji. A neat little chicken wing pass. Now, this is a great kick deep into the sun, well fielded by the Fijians. Yep. Is it? And their captain, Marty Murray, always seems to be in the middle of much of the action. Charge down! Good play here by the Italians, and they've wrestled that ball back to their possession now. How often doesn't it happen that a team scores a try and then the opposition score within five minutes? It's a good catch, but they made a little bit of a, a hash of their exit strategy there, the Fijians. Matioli looks like he, he might be struggling with a, a hand injury. Well, 
still they come with that pack of forwards and the one important thing for them is they've been far more unified than the fijians that's a forward i mean Again, they come so close to the line on the line on the line wait mattioli standing off looking and hoping maybe for a pass which is not forthcoming because it's around the fringes of the ruck there that the italians are trying to find the try four offside hands behind the line what the what penalized for being offside the fijian lock yeah okay no surprise that the italians have gone for the line out 22 off is that charged on 22. That's the only they got that from the sternum. And, uh, it's just been found offside for Fiji. Well, Passarella was uh, off the field for a short while. He's back on again. It's a perfect time to come as well, but the ball might not reach him because this forward pack of the Italians are enjoying their successes against the opposition at the moment. Here comes Quattrini. The call is to use it, and he's quite happy to do so. But just held up short. And this is desperate times this is for the Fijians. Step, step back. Short. short. Once again, centimeters short. short. And they spin it down the line because they've got every opportunity out wide, but they're not interested in that. Well, now they've gone and lost the ball, the Italians. And usually so, based on the work at the breakdown point thus far in the game. Gavula hasn't got a big in-goal area to work with here, so it's uh, the scrum of Basilala with the kick. Oh, dear. Huge tackle there on Simono Brzegala. Well, the Fijians have done really well. You can just see the their actions there how happy they are with their efforts Brissigala down at the moment it's an unfortunate clash in the air okay and yeah the italian Captain. bench not very happy with that at all you know, i'm not so sure about that rob you know that look both teams had their eyes both players had their eye on the ball they were going for the ball it's an unfortunate the clash player competing for, for the ball so it's fair contest it's fair contest thank you fair contest in the end a really strong contest around that ruck getting the turnover getting numbers in there you have a banana kick here from Ravula. The Italian bench, uh, Massimo Brunello, will not be happy with the situation that they're in at the moment. Five points adrift. Fijians growing in stature in many ways. They're getting enough possession too to really open things up and play some smart rugby. The lager with a strong handoff on that occasion taken up by captain moji mari there's nalani may unable to hold on to that ball but they're still they really are enjoying the amount of possession they're getting in this game far more than any of the other games that they've played the three to date possession and territory have been rare commodities for them Ravula. Hold up by Mattioli. Pasalala. Charge there from Nalani May. Step back. I must say, both teams, the handling of both teams has been pretty good in trying conditions. Good strong straight running there from uh, Wakanalaga. Taken in by Nalasi. A little bit of space found. Matt, the captain does really well there. This is the rugby that Fiji enjoy playing too, and they have a little bit of freedom of with ball in hand. 
Italians having to do a lot of tackling at the moment. Daravula with a cross kick. Which way does it bounce? Beautifully plucked out of the air. This is outstanding play, and it's an outstanding drive there from Masiwini. They on their feet on the bench, and so they should be. Sirudi Masiwini taking through multiple phases. Patience on the ball from Fiji. And then the cross kick. Very accurate it was. Thank you, Marius. Not much on. Numbers up. Let's put a cross kick in. Plucked out the air from Sirelli Masiwini. Still a bit of work to do to finish it off. He does that. Acceleration of pace and the reach for the line. It's an excellently worked try from Fiji. I just wondered if Electri could have done something a little bit different there because uh, he was sidestepped on the inside. Now, they're up 10 points at the moment and really enjoying their game as we head towards half time. Fifteen seconds left for Ravula to convert. Oh, it's another clean strike from the fly half. Ravula adds the goal as he did with his cross kick. Beautifully timed. Fucked out the air. The acceleration of pace. No one in defence being able to come across and take out Masi Winnie. And the Italians have got to try and starve the Fijians of ball. And really just getting themselves into decent positions and then there's a transgression or a, a mistake. That ball touched there, so everyone's on side. Now, I guess he's had very little to do in this game. Yaz Brizigela. Then the Italians look to their big men to do their trick. Now they bring it out wide. Alex Matteoli. Taken on by Ballorini. Rob, those little chip kicks over the back. That worked so well for the Fijians. It's the sort of weather conditions where that could be very useful. But the Italians intend more on keeping the ball in hand. Uh, this time it, it's a kick there from Passarella. Please, please, you. please stay with me. 11, 11. <laughs> Moses Magoon. You leave the ball yeah. quickly, okay? And you quiet. Eleven. The referee is 100% right. Yeah. He's got no rights to the ball there. It's not that his throw in. Get away right. from the ball. And that's where sevens are so good, Rob. People put Wait, the ball down Wait. and don't throw discipline, it to yeah, else. It's it's discipline issues and it's sportsmanship in a way as well. But Nick Ramos has been dead on with all his decisions so far. I think it's a sign of the frustrations that the Italians have at the moment. You know, they've 12 points adrift in a game that they would expect to win. But at the moment, it's the Fijians doing all the running. Ravula torpedo kick down field. Now Prisigala is opposite number. Also probing for distance. Ravula. Thank you. He's done well the fly off. He's decided to go on his own, but he's gone to the safety and security of the bigger men. And their rhythm, the rhythm of this Fijian side seems to really be going in their favor. So, well, Ravula knows it's half time. And what a first half it's been then for the Fijians. They've already scored three tries in this game. And they've played much better rugby than we've seen all tournament. So, here in Paul, as the players leave for half time, 
The situation is a three versus two tries then with Fiji leading Italy by 24 points to 12.
Welcome back to Paul here as uh, we reach the halfway mark of the first match of the day. And surprise, surprise for some people, the Fijians 24-12 in the lead and very much full value for that lead too, one's got to say. Scored three great tries to the two of the Italians. And well, the Italian support <laughs> don't look that happy at the moment. And uh, I suppose the big question is, you know, what's being said at half time? What do the Italians, Robbie Kempson, need to do to get back into this game? I think very importantly for them, they've got to keep it tight. As soon as they allow possession to get into Fiji, see Fiji taking it through phase, they've been very patient. Um, but the only way to soften up a side like Fiji is to keep it nice and tight, get those driving mores going as they've done on this field against South Africa. Utilize the pick and go as soon as you start being more expansive, it actually plays into their hands. I suppose also those two lineouts that they conceded um, is has is not helping their cause either because it's an area where they've been really good and they would have had expectations, the Italians, that uh, they could use that and their strong scrum as tools for, for victory today. But th they haven't really got the action that one would have expected from those. No, no sentencing the scrum is going to be unlikely. It's fairly slippery underfoot so that negates the fact that um, you know the, the, the scrum can be a weapon for them you can see the scrums won by Fiji and Fiji's set piece which normally is a, a bit of an Achilles heel for them has been strong yeah there's often surprises from the Pacific Islanders you never quite know what you're going to get but the more freedom you give them on the field the more dangerous they are we know that from their sevens ability in sevens rugby and it is largely largely different to uh, 15 man of course just see those two pictures that we see right now the, the jogging on the field from fiji and a bit of energy amongst them as you look at the italians quite the opposite a bit subdued almost like they haven't rocked up for the game well yeah. they'll need to rock up in the second half because uh the yeah. way things are going yeah, at the good. moment it doesn't look good for them but very yeah. often we can see a change in fortune in the second half, we've seen that certainly with uh, the New Zealand side, who've uh, scored 88% of their points in the second half of the matches that they've played. Could it be the same for the Italians today? 10, 45 seconds. But there's an energy that Rob Kempson is talking about that you saw there with the players coming onto the field. Yeah. Excited to have a second half like the first the Fijians that'll be their hope the Italians will want to turn it around they'll kick off from Brizigala and that's Backward. not a good start that for Fiji with a, a knock on from the kickoff let's go, let's go. One. one blue well there's going to be an immediate change here for the Italians from the kickoff quite interesting that uh, they're bringing on Federico Pisani who's on for similar Tavier and he'll be up front maybe they heard what you had to say Ron Kempson that uh, they've got to make sure they have a proper domination up front <laughs> they did this in their last game must be something from the coach yeah it's an omen of good luck <laughs> why it didn't happen at half time Five. one wonders sometimes the Teddy game is finished down it that goes oh, there's a penalty advantage here to Italians now Brizigella unable to take that the pass beach. so they'll have a penalty this might give us an idea of their decision here as to how they're going to play the second half and really they've got to back their line out so they'll kick for the corner no doubt this is how they build pressure against South Africa. Again, they won. Scrum dominance, scrum penalties, kicking for the corner, driving malls and picking guys. Nothing flash, but the result. Gottrini, target probably Alex Mattioli. He is the man, and there's the set, there's the drive pretty muddy down in that part of the field so the couple of the backline players come in to come and give some extra momentum so they go at the line get it down no 
Well, I think it was a, one of those situations where Luke, Ram, Luke Ramos said, use it. And they didn't use it. And he's fairly strict with that law. He's very strict with it. Every time I told you, use it. He's not use it once, it's use it and get on with it. <laughs> It's the second occasion that he's turned over the possession. It's not the perfect position for Basilala and that pack of Fijian forwards. Small in goal area and the need to get that ball back downfield. Then the scrum stand. Down they've gone once again. But this time, it's the Italians who are penalised. Got the replacement, Three. Sani. Not pushing straight. I think your point is Gallerini going on the angle. An important enough kick, and uh, it's safely into touch there from Rubula. He's driving down and through on the angle. The right penalty. So give you a tie with the throw in. Advantage. Got that perfect. Now Fiji have got the advantage here. Offside. Against uh, Ponterini. Been very strict Offside today. Offside number four. Luke Ramos. There's no nonsense about him. Well, they're slowly working their way downfield. The Fijians once again into the Italian half. The lineup was not over. So much the other way. Italians scrum penalty, kick for the corner, score the points, get back into error compounding errors. Over the back it goes. Odiasi. Now the kick downfield. The gym's in a decent position there. And, uh, well, was that ball carried back? It was too. So the Fijians once again in defense. And the ball over the top. Way over the top. Obviously a bit of possession. Shorter line out for Quatini. Oh, stolen by the Fijians. Excellent play from them. Inside their own 22, happy to move around, move the ball around. And the ball going backwards on each occasion that it was dropped. So it's play on. Use it, please. Basalala. Playing with confidence here, the Fijians, that close to their goal line. Is it? Offside! Hey! Asalala's kick is not going to be out. No, off your feet. Oh, the call from Brasigella. Let's bring the backs into play. Here they come. First man. The Fijians were very quick onto that ball and they've turned it over. Excellent play this from the Fijians. They're playing with a lot of courage, but they're certainly playing with a lot of confidence too in the start of the second half, even if it is inside their own half of the field. Catch from Bazzoni. A turnover coming from for now. Quick and strong over the ball, center. Come on, let's go. And that ball looks a little bit muddy, doesn't it? It's not going to go the distance you might want it to go. And that's a decent kick too. So back towards the halfway line. You can see that steal again from Fiji. No cleanness weirdly, but strong over the ball and quick turnover. Tagivita. So Again, over the back it goes. The Italians happy with the possession. 
There's Matthias Douglas. Use it. Quathini. Stav Fiji of the ball must surely be one of the calls from the coaching staff of the Italians. Ball's gone pretty much straight up in the air. There will be a penalty here to Fiji, the players. Well, they just take it quickly. Here they come. They've got men in support, plenty of them. But the pass was a little bit wayward and a lost opportunity there for the Fijians. Now, I fancy, Rob, if the Fijians score and convert a try now, it's really going to make it very difficult for Italy to come back. That's the last pass just not going ahead. Almost, almost. Not quite gathering it. Okay. We're playing the game at as much pace as they can. Nine blue, sub, please. So, change it, scrum off Sebastiano Batara will go off and be replaced by Lorenzo Casilio. Who's normally the first choice at scrum half? Excellent play. He already got a, a player of the match award. I think during the, the match against South Africa, he was the player of the match, Casillo. And Sebastiano Batata coming off. Will that change make a difference at scrum half? I think it's still all pretty much about that pack of forwards that are scrumming down at the moment. That's perhaps where the key to success lies. Casilio. Zigala. It's not going to be out. Here's the free running fullback. That's the opportunity to run at the opposition. Okay. First man. And the counter ruck was not successful. Somehow the Vegetes managed to hold on to it. Rabula. Vintage. Alex, Alex. Be there from Botha Botha. There's so much energy in this Fijian side at the moment. Back. Over the top it goes. Back to penalty. Well, what they're doing, the Fijians, a lot better than in any other game, is uh, they're valuing territory and possession. Three. You have to stay back. Particularly possession. They've been patient with the ball. Just, you mentioned the word energy. Been energy around the side and the Fijian side throughout this game. They're getting off the ground quicker. They're recycling themselves quicker on attack. And getting a bit of width on their on their game as well. Gallerini was the man penalized. And the Italians will know this guy. Is a dead eye dick. Doesn't miss many kicks, so just to push it up to a difference of 15 points. Which if you do your mathematics, means that you've got to score three times just to catch that uh, team. That first penalty of uh, Ravulas two, I think, just set the trend for his 20 team. Seconds. Ten seconds. Right, no problem for Ravula. First points of the second half. Oh, okay. Captain, please take a step. Four the outside line. Okay, thank you. Four five. Number five blue. Well, another change then for the Italians. They really are desperately looking for the changes. Collar. Carlos Polesi coming on for Alex Mat Mattioli. I'm back on. So the coach Massimo Brunella just trying to find the right uh, combination to starve the Fijians of the ball. They've had so much possession compared to their previous matches. Leave it! Uh, it's a high kick onto Brasigella. Plucks it out of the air, does well, does the fly half. But there's the counter coming from the Fijians. 
Italians have held on to Casilio Quattrini. Bit muddy there in the, the middle of the field. But, uh, the players managed to get it out. Good strong running here, too, from Passerella. Oh, forward fast. Getting the little basics that are lacking and just stemming the tide of the Italian flow. Yeah, a couple of the fours yeah. just threw their hands up in the air in disgust. These guys Pretty sure that the magic law flows were put to bed at half time. I stay here, Damian. Thanks. Oh, look at those uh, carries that are the Fijians. Okay. I'm quite happy with that. And certainly the meters that they've made, and that's because they've run hard at the opposition. And pretty direct at that. When you look at, at the involve, involvement of their back three, you know, Douglas uh, Masiwini and Navona Vona. They've been so much in the game too, which is an indication that they've really moved the ball around well. That's a great scrum that from Italy. Fiji did the right thing, got rid of it very early. Vantage offside. Often we've seen yeah. Vota Vota carrying the ball in the midfield there, the lock forward. Six, never back on side. Ravula, cross kick once again. Beautifully timed. And that might have gone forward. Forward, back to penalty. Yeah, the forwards taking their time to get back. It came from a monster scrum that they had. Really off, Fiji Captain. on the back foot, but a quick strike got them to the edges and Captain. put those forwards off sides. Referee's going to have a chat to Quattrini. Three penalty on offside when you are under pressure. Who was it? Please. Last one is number six, never back on side. Okay. And the two first in, in the 10 meter zone and after number three offside, okay? Okay, sorry. Have a word with your team. Filippo Lavorenti, the man penalized. Okay, thank you. He's on the 10 meter line. Well, it's going to be presumably another kick at goal here for Ravula. Goal shot. And Captain. why not? He's just about hammered them all over already today. Kicking to you a little slow and coming on, so it puts pressure on the kicker. He's got 46, 45 Please seconds. Just, this thing's just check the shot clock. If we just give him now. a little reminder. Perfect angle to view this kick. Ten seconds. Come in from his right to his left. Will it swing in enough? No, he's chipped it past the right hand upright. Italians quick to dot it down. Brizigella now. Two blue. Sub. Another change Where's for the Italians. Captain? Gasparini coming on for. He's captain Giovanni Quattrini. David Odiasi will okay, rather thanks. will probably take over the captaincy. I'm back on. Step back. Behind the kicker. Jens making no changes. Happy to keep the same combination and why not? Out from Basiallo. And some strong running here from Wakanalaga. Never lifted. Which straight running very often by the Fijians which creates the extra space out wide this man now the Italians have managed to wrestle the opportunity now that ball just falling there in the mud and just chipped I think it was very close to being a try yeah I think you're right Kev it was really close just stopped dead on the second bounce you have to check yeah. Sure. Who's player? Very close. Put the, uh, the ball in there. An opportune boot at the right time. Scrum. Scrum at five. Griffin Colby just having a chat Captain, to the ref. Please. No. Yeah. 
you bring the ball in your goal line, so it's scrum at five. Yeah, five ball taken in to the in goal area, so it's a, a five meter scrum to the Italians. Sorry, we move because oh, it's a good kick. Yeah. Oh, so close from Giesi. What the what the? <laughs> the lock forward, right back there, doing the necessaries. This is where Italy want to have a very, very strong and powerful scrum. They've got a few, Coach. couple of new personnel on the field. Bind. And they get the forward momentum from the scrum. Opposition on the back foot. They're ready for it. There they go. Vantage. Oh, they've got a penalty advantage. Basilio. Oh, dear. Dropped by Passarella, but they'll come back for the penalty. And the question is, will they go with a line-out? Things getting a little bit heated there. Oh, Marcus Gallerini's just no, <laughs> lifted no. the palm of his hand going, why well, take it out the scrum, guys? <laughs> you can see the power coming through from the tight head. Edges, edges, oh, they've got it going. It's a matter of control at the base, and that's a walkover try. Please have a word with your team. Don't provoke your thing with your 11. Now it's finished. Okay, okay, understand? Please. You have a... Now the warnings are finished, so that's essentially what you could ascribe to a team warning. I, don't, I wonder if Passarella had actually caught that if he would have got over, because it's a strong tackle on him. But they've gone for a scrum again. It's a bit, as I said, a bit muddy down that no, bottom end there. Not, not ideal for the line out. All hands on deck again, Rob. The big, the big driving, driving scrum. Yeah. No question. They've got the ascendancy that they would be looking for in the first half. Didn't quite get it. Second half has been all the Italian scrum. Coach. Bind. Bassani enjoying his time since coming on as a replacement in the front row. Yeah. Along with uh, the big man Gallerini. 133 kilograms Maybe worth. Better. He's a big, uh, big no. lad. Maybe no. Okay. Yeah. The referee will probably request of the front rows to get a bit higher. Which might assist the Italians even more Keep your feet closer. in view of the fact that okay. it's got about a 50 kilogram weight advantage on your opposition. And just technically, just two front rows. Put more of a solid foundation to them than the opposition. Well, one thing that's desperately needed are the seven points that might be on offer for the Italians. They desperately need it. Vantage. Again. It's an advantage to them. This could be a try. Can they pick it up and get over? Yes, they can. Finally, they get what is needed there, courtesy of Baturi. Seven. Is Baturi that gets it over? Strong up front from Gallorini and Pisani. New hooker is Gasparini. Front row doing the hard yards. The locks in part of the engine. The number eight. He's been the top tackler. And defender for Italy has got his try to bring Italy back into the game. Perfect. Conversion should be straightforward for Brazegala. And so it is. And now, uh, eight points adrift. Still got to score twice. It just makes it slightly tighter. There's that powerful scrum of the Italians once again. Making really well controlled by Jacopo Baturi at the base of it. And gets the try for Italy. Some people might ask the question too, you know, why is their scrum suddenly so dominant? You know, has that to do with the players that have been brought on? Or just as a unified effort, they're better? It's a unified effort, they're better. Ten for Let's a prop forward might sound funny. You build an innings, you slowly soften up your opposition and Unfortunately, get substitutes these days, but they're generally not as good as the guys been on in the first place. And once you get the, get your opposition tired enough, and you can get that ascendancy. Two, two, move. 
Well, that begs the question of whether the Fijians will also look to, to some changes quite soon. Seven, move! They haven't made one as of yet. And the Italian pack of forwards are doing the job of work for their country. Vantage, side entry. They've got a pen Three penalty words. advantage to the Italians, but Casilio out it goes to Passarella and then Brizigala. The long pass. They'll come back for the penalty, though. Yep. And now the Italians dominating territory at the moment. And they're dominating a bit of the possession now. Three. The driving Three. wall getting going. It's going to make it difficult for Fiji. So safely into touch there, and once again, the Fijians on the back foot. Yours. Now the game plan that Italy would have tried to put together in that first half. Coming together in the second. And line out again going astray. Awesome work to do here, but the Italians very much in the ascendancy. Ball coming their way, territory they're owning at the moment. And you spoke about patience, Rob, the importance of patience on the rugby field, which is not always evident with young men. But the Italians doing exactly the right things at the moment. Right work there from Gallerini. And over they go, it's another try. Two in succession. And this time, I think it belongs to Federico Pisani. In fact, Gasparini is the man. Into the trenches they go. The big carry has come from Marcos Gallerini. All the way up to the try line. And Gasparini just dives over. It's two tries in a matter of minutes. Has been a game of two halves, hasn't it? Rizigala making sure of the extra two. And suddenly we got a ball game. Italian forwards doing the hard yards for their country. And showing with a massive scrum, they got the one try and the, the forwards are the, the driving more from the kickoff. And the pick and go to end it off. Which three white? So the first change we have then for the Italian, uh, for the Fijians, and it's uh, a necessary change. Let's go, ten. Decent kick there too. Picked up on the left wing there by yes, Litri. Done, done decently. Casillas with the pass. They just have so much possession at the moment. The Italians and they are thriving on the opportunity of posting points against the Fijians. Over the top from Casillas. And we are thrown into Italy once again. Well, it's only one, a one-point game at the moment. It was 24-12 at half-time to the Fijians, but suddenly the uh, Italians have a feeling that uh, they could maybe get into the lead. It's been a while. the back it goes now Fiji have it this is where they can be dangerous you saw when they came out after half time they came sprinting onto the field heads held high the Fijians but again they've given away a penalty at breakdown the Italians have done very well in the second half is 
Just maintained possession, kept it away from Fiji and then kept it very tight. Utilizing the forwards, not being too expansive. Brizigala doing well there. Low tackle, Diasset straight in on the ball. First throw in then for Nicholas Gasparini. Starts to go short, didn't work for the Italians. And the lineouts, which are normally so good, have been an area where they've struggled today. Now, can they hold on to the ball for a few faces here, yeah, the Fijians? And that's really what they need. That's when they are at their most dangerous. Let's go. The chance here for Italy. Come on, let's go. Get well away from their 22. That ball safely into touch. Another line out still trying to go low and hard and up to the challenge. That's Fiji. Can the Fijians get their line out working? Watha Watha, he's had a good game at lock forward. He's done so much work on the field today. David Odiasi with another tackle. He's made so many in this tournament. And the lock forwards of Fiji have been impressive from broken play. A delightful little chip kick through there. Not much that Nicolo Bozza could do. Okay. The Gians have a scrum advantage here, but they don't want a scrum. They want to try. That's really what they need. Step back, move back. Italian spread across the field. Rabula into space. Lovely play that from the flower. Brings in <clears throat> Nalasi with another try. And it's very opportune that one for the Fijians. Nalasi gets the try for Fiji. It's a very timely one at that. It's been all Italy in the second half. All of a sudden, a missed tackle from Odiase. On Ravula, back on the inside. And Nalasi has got Fiji to extend that lead again. That's lovely play yeah. that from the fly half. Wasn't much he could do there. He was weighing up his options, actually. Do I maybe chip it over there? Do I maybe go here? Yeah, I made exactly the right call. And the support play there was from uh, Sakinasa Nalasi was excellent. It was everything the Italians didn't want, though, to be honest. Got back into the lead. Now they've surrendered it. So it's a six-point ball game then, is it? In fact, no, no, it's an eight-point ball game. Now, Adiasi misses it. Also back on the inside, a catch-up defender and Gallarini not keeping up with with play. It's another high-hanging kick. The last one was dropped by the Fijians. This time they catch it. Decides, uh, it was taken back, so he can't kick it out directly. It was right up against the touchline, but the Fijians really didn't have much of a kick chase on that occasion. He stood back and waited for the Italians to run at them. Gasparini taking it in, Casilio. And there's absolutely everything to play for here with these guys. But there's still big pressure here coming from Italy once again. Brizigala, oh dear, giving it away. This is danger time. This is where 
Fiji actually love their counter-attacking ability is exceptional. No advantage. We're going to go back for a penalty, I think it is, to... Uh, is it just, the... I'll just pick that yeah, up now. It... Ah, it's a scrum. No, it's a scrum for knocking the ball on. That one not falling behind Baturi. Twelve and ten blue. Sub. Twelve and ten. Sub, please. Sir, please. Italians bring on Stevipo Bozzoni and Giovanni Sante. So they really are cleaning off their bench, trying to find the solution to a victory today. Time back on. Sante is going to fly it's half in place of Brizigella. If it's available, the plate. Let's go. Crouch. Bind. Philip Basilala has some options here, but he's deep in his own territory. They don't want to make mistakes here. Now Ravula. Hold, hold. It's a great kick there. Didn't quite get uh, the bounce that he might have wanted. Was that not a knock on? Might be a question asked too. No. The Gens just stand back on defense. They're not flying in. I mean, at the breakdown points, and now they've got a penalty. They've got to give it to Ravula to get them another three points. Surely. And there's some discussion there, but with that accurate boot and those three points on offer, they're vital at this point in time. In the corner driving more if they fence themselves for one of those. Yeah. Well, there they go. Good confidence from their team to make that call. Six white. Six white. It just would have been 11 points the difference with a, a, a penalty goal there, Rob, which in nine minutes is difficult to get. It also eats into the time. So Fiji brought on not to buy laggy. Oh, yeah. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's an excellent player there. Wait. We have a so Waisu is uh, the man off, and then also the Italians Three. bring on the last man, then Ricardo Partolini. And they've cleaned their bench completely. Thank you. Right. Time back on. Stay on 10. This is a vital throw in. It's a vital line out for them. More. If they score here, surely they're going to win this game. And that in might five. be in their heads right now. Once. The Italians have got to hold on. They've got some work to do. Use it now. Well, they've got to use it straight away. So, Philippe Basilala, out it goes. And into space. Lovely running that. Direct running from the Fijians. And Finau has got the try. But Teresio Finau has walked over the try line. I think the Italian forwards will be spewing at this defense. Nothing really on. It's just poor defense from Italy. And hard straight running coming from Finau. Rob, you spoke about the, the straight running of the Fijians a little bit earlier. Their direct approach and that. And that was a clear indicator of it. Get onto the soft shoulder of the defender. And Finau did an excellent job there. Gravula using up the time. You better keep an eye on that clock because it's down to just over 30 seconds left to kick this over. I think he could do it with his eyes closed anyway. Ever missed one out in front, Gav? 20 seconds. No, luckily not. <laughs> it, really, it really is not easy, not difficult. 
Saravula, 16 points in the match from the fly half. And he really has been the points accumulator for the Fijians. Who have brought on Josh Kina as well. Oh, another one, here we go. That's uh, Zach Karma coming on. So look at that, the difference there, 15 points. Of course, that's where that kick was so vital because now white. score three times on blue. in a couple of minutes that is left in and this match white. suggests that the Fijians are going to get their first victory okay, of this year's under 20 championship. On side, my assistant is closer. Time off, yeah, seven, seven, knock, seven, seven, please. Goes seven. up for the ball. Yeah, seven. Two knock-ons. First one, the Italians. Oh, in fact, Ruben Nato was the one that I'd missed out as well. He's coming on now to finish off. And time back on. Oh, what a tournament it's been for that man. He really has uh, done his bit, David Odiasi. For the first time, he substituted at this tournament. But it's a disappointing day for him and his fellow countrymen. Oh, now things are opening up for the Fijians. Play him. Well, a comedy of errors there pretty much for everybody so they'll come back for the scrum one white sub number one white substitution Moses Magoon off and I'll tell you what all these changes being made at the last minute yeah Togra is on but I think everyone in a white jersey is saying hang on we've got this game less than five minutes left it would be a miracle for 20, the italians okay? to win this no? game yeah, just, uh, okay. substitution for the 20 blue of course rob is absolutely <laughs> you just come on as a replacement and you immediately got an injury so our mastercard play of the match is misaki Votha Votha who uh, as the number four of fiji has really got through an enormous amount of work today didn't have uh, he scored the first try but besides that the work that he did rob i think is was quite exemplary no for sure he's made 76 meters on okay. the carries he's got his offload please. and he's made his tackles he really has been around the park in full value for this fijian side and okay would potentially will be a victory for them thank you there's the tackle there from Rubinato, who's just come onto the park. And uh, looks like he maybe have a, a leg injury. Sad way to finish a game, or to start and finish a game. Yep. <laughs> Back on. So it's all about pride now for the Italians. Casillo with a put in. For the first time, no team has scored more than 40 points at the moment against Fiji. Literally because they've utilized all of their substitutes. Quick reset. Passarela in the forward pack. One down in the back line. Just the correction on that one. This is the only team that hasn't Crouch. scored more than 40 points against the Fijians. The Italians. Yeah, Passarella on the flank position there. You can proudly tell his children one day that he played in the forwards and in the backs for his country. Casilio, little chip kick ahead. Which way does it bounce? Oh. Excellent play there. With the catch too. Now it's about the kick. Smart. The scrum collapsing, but the break around the side. Up, please. Maybe the right idea. That, that wing has gone go. into the midfield. And what a diving catch. 
I don't know, Willis kick. Yeah. Just duck. Matthias Douglas oh, unable to keep it in. Now leave the ball alone. Yeah, put it down. <laughs> You've been penalised before. Please wait. Sub 12. Well, the rest of the Fijian bench are just sprinting on. Semi Takatani's on. Lucera Lavuma is on. Please. Take a step. Give everybody a chance, Time I guess. Bronson Lee on to. Opportunity for them all to have a run. Quickly out from Casilio. Charge downfield there from. The rhythm of the Italians just has been wanting today, one's got to say. We know from their performance in the under 26 nations in Europe that they've got a good team, but they just haven't produced the goods today. Please give the number quicker. Josh Kina with a throw. So, opportunity there for the Italians to make the call. Do they want the scrum or do they want the line out? They've taken the scrum. It's the knock on there in the line out. Looks like Giovanni Sante has taken over the captaincy of the Italian side. The man has a fly half replacement at the moment. Both teams with a bonus point. Four Count. tries. The Fijians have got five to the four of Italy. Bind. Sit. A minute and a half of play left in this game. Boss, you go down. The Italy Please, have lost six lineouts in this game, which is, which is most unusual for them. They've really been so dominant. Okay. Quick reset. Scrums have, have been solid for them. So it's Better been for to Fiji too, you. pretty much. <laughs> 194 tackles made in this game. 121 by the Italians. They've had to do Caught. most of the defending. Despite the fact that they dominate Sit. possession. Pretty much two or three things Keep have it up. gone Keep it their up. way. Keep it up! Vantage! Penalty advantage here to Italy. They want the ball though. Well, Casilio is going to get it now. And Sante will 17. Not driving straight. work towards the corner flag. Thank you. So, in retreat were the Fijians there. A couple of men standing up and penalized by Luke Ramos from France. Oh, Gasparini with a throw. We're going to see some delighted faces in just over a minute's time. But no, just Taco, release. a couple of seconds time it should have been because time is up now. And the Fijians just need to kick the ball out. No, but, no, well, they're happy to keep running it. Now they've got a penalty. What do they do? They keep playing. This is the way they like their rugby. Never mind the clock. Let's go. Let's play. Let's get another try. No. Eventually, Ravula makes the call. And what a game it's been for these men. Their first victory here at the 2023 World Rugby Under-20 Rugby World Cup Championship. Excellent effort from them. Who can argue with those five tries that they scored and some outstanding play by the Fijians. Full-time score then here in Paul is Fiji 41, Italy 26.
Yeah, as is usual, the Fijians will say their prayers and give thanks for not the victory necessarily only, but certainly for the opportunity to play the game and maybe not pick up an injury or whatever goes with that. Deeply religious men are the Fijians. There's, a, of course, a camaraderie in rugby too. And once the battle is over, the cultural challenge was not met today by the Italians. Let's have a look at some of the statistics then, though. So there's nine tries scored there. And the Fijians, well, they've been really happy today that they've scored the number of tries that they've scored and also that the penalty their territory and, and position was pretty useful. They turned over the ball six times, which showed how well they did at breakdown point with uh, wrestling for that ball. And the Italians let themselves down there somewhat because they gave away a fair number of penalties in that situation. Just look at the number of tackles made. 122 by the Italians. 